everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. So I ask Spirit, what kind of message do they have for you? The collective and a message of warning. And it's number 33. Hmm. All right. Let's, uh. We're heading into the weekend also. One second. Okay. Let's see. What is this message of warning? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Soon. Learning. Ooh. So look. 33 is a 6, right? 5, 4, there's a countdown energy to this. I feel like, um, ooh, and look, coming from the top. So whatever is happening, right? I've picked up on backfires for quite a while. And, you know, that being the season that we're in. There's fear and trepidation coming off of somebody because... Some sneaky little plan they had of spiritual hijinks. You know, they thought they were able to mask their emotions and their feelings, and their and they weren't. And that's this. They're about to learn a lesson very soon. Woo! I. It's so funny, right? Because. The first word here is sweetness. Now, I've seen these cards floating around, and it's always nice to have more input. Learning, right? Learning. Came out in the block position. It's the page of cups, but it's the earth of water, right? So it's the representation. Someone can't read you, is what I'm getting, or they misread you. It's almost like someone thought they um, they had uh, curtailed an image to you of loving and nurturing, protective, charming, that they're honest and practical, all of these things. And I don't feel as though you saw them this way. And this is what, like, don't let your emotions get the better of you. Something was done to try to rile up an emotional response. 
that would have had you act out, right, in a very real way, because it's uh, the Page of Cups Earth energy, right? This person, or the, yeah, whoever they are, they're about to learn a very hard lesson. It says life is hard now, right now. Look around. Help is at hand, right? But this, is, see the hand? It's coming down from the divine. So if there's a hardship, if there's poverty, if there's illness, all of these things are because of the focus and intention. It's like you're not, the energy can be fluid, right? And so even if this is where you are in life, right? This is how you show up. You're loving, you're nurturing, you're kind, you're comfortable. It's really what I'm getting. Like you're really comfortable. Like it's almost a parallel of knowing how to stay in your lane. But when you have lower vibrational energies upon you, hey Maggie, um, you get envious, you get jealous, you get greedy, you get vindictive, you, you're, because you're not focused on yourself and what you have and the abundance really that is at hand. And so because of a lack of gratitude, it's really what it feels like for what they truly have, they're, it's like it's being taken from them. It's like, oh, you, you're going to experience genuine hardship energy of the unexpected conflict and strife movement i look you see the six of pentacles right the queen of pentacles and the five that's six what pops out the six see this is someone's karma and it's going to show up in a very real way giving, receiving, fairness, justice, generosity, sharing, influence, and nobility. And that's what I was getting immediately. 33, message of warning, the number of influence, right? So someone thought they were, like I said, we're going to be able to influence you in a way that would have been beneficial to them, and that is not what happened. You passed the test by not reacting, and they have failed miserably. This is a God smack coming down. Look, and it's it's like it goes down and it goes up. It's like there's there's this oscillation, like the scales being balanced, because you, you have six, five, four, right, and you have four, five, six, and then you have this two in this block position, like they opened this gateway and look what's right here, three. These people were celebrating that they were going to have some victory in causing calamity by stirring you up. But you had very clear discernment. Your gifts have elevated. They wanted you to open the door to your divine abundance and you did not. You, you was like, no, nah, I'm good on that because I just saw three aces real quick for no reason. Love that. Blessed afternoon. That's right. Look, this is, when I say them scales is being balanced, I mean them scales is being balanced. You see the five of pentacles, right? Look how things keep repeating itself. Two of pentacles, right? Three of pentacles, five more, right? Everybody involved in this little scheme, this little hustle to try to get you back. In the oh, no. That's why I said it's the oscillation energy. Look, 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 look. Find balance in your life to build success. Somebody gonna have to do that. And honestly, that's what you've learned to do. Whoever you are who was being triangulated by these people, they are in a period where they're about to experience drastic changes in their circumstances. But you've already gone through all of that. Your season of lack and you learn to make do. Like you was cool. And now these people need help and they can't get it. It says reach out for help when you need it. Nah. They should have worked with you. And then look, see this number it's a look, look. cooperation, gain, teamwork, creativity realization, influence, and common goals. That's right. They all had a common goal. Because
because for whatever reason, you're the real deal holy field. Like you are the embodiment of all the aces. It's amazing how many uh, uh, pinnacles we have out here. It's energy, it's money, it's time, it's talent. It's everything that you represent. It's your spiritual position also. Because when I see the five of pentacles, it always reminds me of the tree of life, the stained glass in a window. They think it's unfair that you have so much and they feel like they have so little. They did not, but they're about to have none. And it's the same energies over and over again. Capricorn Taurus. It's the earthly energy. And what's funny is that it's really given me the hatred for the Virgo. Because it's overwhelming that these two signs in particular, the cabal of their collective energy, is together. It's very, very interesting to me. Right, you found your own balance here on this realm. And they have to work together and collaborate, or they chose to. Everything down here is a choice. And look, there's the Ace of Pentacles sitting on the bottom of the deck. See, you embody all four Aces like a real deal. Like they've never... <sighs> what a pity. Now look, keep your eyes on your goals and enjoy every moment. See, this is the whole thing. You have this energy of a divine child. Like the spirit of the most high is within you. It shows everything you touch has growth. Courage, excitement, free spirit. You're a free spirit. Why? Because you are here by assignment, but choice. To reincarnate is a choice. Love of life, enthusiastic discovery, right? Because the spirit of God is within you and it shows. Now look, two, 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 three, three, three. See, this is so far, this is really out of your hands because it, it there's, look, and there's another five. The divine has a serious lesson to teach somebody for meddling, for, for meddling. You can't wage, mm, I mean, you tried it, you did. You, this is a warning, but you didn't heed the warning. That's the whole thing about it. Whoever the the opposition energy belongs to, you receive multiple, multiple, multiple warnings. And refused. Enjoy the last of whatever stability that you have. Because you got whole archangels on that ass. Pouring out. And then the divine collective, you've got nothing but magnificent blessings. Keep your eye on your goals. Everything's happening. And don't let things be of influence and don't let things be a distraction unto you. You're hitting a stride. It's finally, see, this is, it, they, I also get this energy of wanting to block your emotions. And all of a sudden, be weary, um, separate message, right? Be weary of anyone all of a sudden wanting to, you know, hang out, party, do weird shit. Like, no, especially when you're gaining momentum on what it is you've been really dedicated to. Be mindful. Right, because victory is, is here. Look. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands. These will be people uh, who maybe in their mind think they're competing with you, but they're not. They might be a part of the same industry as you. So what? No industry events right now. Whatever industry you in. Look, whole archangels pouring out. Keep playing. Don't see strength. Don't see ju judgment and the hermit. Spirit on that ass. They seen what you did. They seen what you did. Hermit, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. They saw what you did. They on that ass. 
Let's see. Let's see what you did. Ooh, what's the tick? What's the tick? What'd it do? Oh! Look, 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 look. Somebody caught a case. Look, 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 look. You thought influence, right? Somehow you were going to be an intimidate somebody with your influence? No, 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 no. Look, look. See? There's those karmic scales. Y'all got to stop playing. And I know it was magically. You, you, so you want to play. You want to play. Good job. I'm glad. But they say, um, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Right. It didn't go nowhere. Mm, mm, mm. Meanwhile, my collective dodging bullets left and right. These are the same people for those of you who have platforms in particular, no matter what the content is. These motherfuckers was reporting your content. They was doing all sorts of little janky shit, trying to get you to go away. Should have just left you alone. They shouldn't have messed with you. Shouldn't have been trying to cyber bully you, stalk you, gang, all of those things. Nah, they just had to have it their way, right? Okay, cool, cool. Cool. They need your help, remember? And you like, nah, I'm cool. Crying. Look. Told you, somebody, I got this the other day. Somebody who play like their friend, their groupie, right? The one who be in the background doing dumb shit, you know, living in a, a life that ain't theirs type shit. Um, mm, mm, mm. Stake their whole reputation on it. Stake their whole reputation on it. That they was going to be able to get you to do what they wanted you to do. Or somehow was going to be able to impact how people saw you. Whether illusion magic, chaos magic, uh, conflict, uh, glamour. No, 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 no. And all people see is, I really like them. Wow, their vibe is so cool. Men and women. Huh. This is why the ethers is, they on that ass. As above, so below. So if you in trouble in spiritual court, you in trouble in real court. They go together, okay? So, you know, whether people getting arrested, locked up, judge, all that, it don't matter. It is the same. As above, so below. So within, so without. See? Look. Somebody bought this shit on themselves. Because they want to play. They want to play, play. They want to play, play. And they like to be in your face like, I wouldn't hurt you. What? Big eyes. The better to see you, right? That's why. Right there. Right there. Look, told y'all. Y'all all, all in the public eye in some capacity. They was working overtime to get you rejected. To get you to quit. Spiritual haters, look at them, look at them. All it did was bring people closer to you. They was like, who this person? Why are they so pressed? Mm, mm, mm. Press, 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 press. Get it? Don't, don't press. <laughs> um. They want to make it up to you now. This this group you want back in your good graces. Somebody even having uh, more problems with their children. Yeah. All warnings are over. There's there's no more second chances. This is karmic retribution coming down, and I don't mean just spiritual. I really do mean this is the manifestation of it here on this realm. You're going to learn real soon. That's just what it is. You were told repeatedly to stop, and you just wouldn't do it. So the divine Ace of Wands is going to show you. They're going to take action on your ideas uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, and show you particularly. You, the one who was stirring it up real good. They're going to bring it 
to your door, right? Because you manifested it. Two of wands, three of wands. And there's nothing, and I do mean nothing, you can do to stop this shit from coming directly to you because you wage war and they were more than patient. And some people just, they don't know how to leave well enough alone. They fixate it. This person was overly confident in whatever abilities and whatever strategy they thought they had to take down someone who is a part of the divine collective. You thought you were going to wear down someone who has infinite energy, who contains literal multitudes. The day of reckoning is upon you. Hey, y'all. I like when they get all fire and brimstone-y. I do, I do, I do. I can't help it. I can feel it in my soul. <laughs> Okay, like for real though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. I like it. They confused. They like, what you mean no more? No, 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 no. You were uninterested in choosing any other direction, any other path, this way, that way. They showed you you was going the wrong way, but you was like, nah, I ain't going back. I'm too committed. So are they. So are they. Okay, what's the tea? What was, what was it? Secret love affair. What? Why are they playing secret lover? <laughs> they play. So someone, right, told you it's more than one person here. It's at least three. It's at least three. I'm going to be like, I'm, mm, 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 mm. somebody really thought they knew your type. I'm seeing that with the bad habit, right? Because maybe you said stuff, right? Maybe you was just talking to shit, but people do that, right? Maybe people got a bad habit of believing people talking shit. So they, they little plan was the sin. Right? Somebody toward you. And this person was supposed to drain you via sex. Because that's what that looked like. I'm talking. He was going to open up the punani. That's what the wallet looked like to me, y'all. I can't help it. In this context with that card, he was going to open up the punani. Look. See? Look. He's on peer in. <laughs> somebody, because somebody thought they saw that you were, um, maybe they thought you wanted a partner, that you had love on the brain, that you were daydreaming, fantasizing, you was feeling room. And the reality is, look, see, forcer and cock blocking. Somebody got real good self control. You could want love, but that's not the same thing as wanting to screw. Somebody found out something, something was off. Something's off. Something's off. Look, you dodged a whole bullet collective. Look, look at the queen rising sticking out. Exactly. See? Because after you get to the queen of pentacles, right, you are truly going through all the stages of queendom. And for those of you who really hold on to the divine feminine energy, that means you want to get to your empress status. So you got to get there. And so they was trying to <sighs> siphon before you got to that next rung of ascension. Whatever. Look, 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 look. You would have gotten so much bad karma if you'd have accepted that offer. If you'd have gotten involved with this person. But they mad. They mad because you was like, no. And you hurt their little childish ass ego because you saw them full of hustler. You was like, no, nah, I'm good. I done seen this shit before. Saw you in a dream. You ain't about shit. Go on back. Fix your wounds. This really intimidated this person. Because you read them like a book by candlelight. <laughs> Meaning, they thought they uh was able to dim their true essence. 
and you was going to be deceived. And you was like, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. Because see, I, ooh, I feel like somebody put on a nice show. Right? It's something about the sunglasses. Like they was mirroring back your light. But you saw it was something in the eyes, baby. You look, 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 look. You got that inside scoop. You took a deep soul gaze. <laughs> you played it off. They thought you was dumb and oblivious to it. Thought you was confused. Not to mention, I hate to say it, but I don't. Somebody fight like a bitch. So they talk. They verbal. I'm going to tell you like this. Any man that argue with a female, you's a bitch. You are. It's too much of it in you. You should be going towards a man and having conversation. You should never have a reason to have that much hostility and or smoke towards a female. And then ladies, vice versa. We That's different lanes. Stay out them. And you don't ever have to worry about somebody putting their hands on you. Be respectful. Just saying. Whew. Somebody was fake flexing how much they was uh, feeling you. And you, you disregarded it. That's so funny. What else you want to tell us about these people? Whatever they thought they knew, they was that talking shit stuff. Like, it's just you talking. None of it was based on real facts. See? It's your public persona. <laughs> Look, they really thought they had you because they was all up in your business studying you, trying to get as much info. And that way when, you know, whoever this person is, or for some of you, this could be coming in because I got two pages. But I feel like this is just a blowback for what they've already done. I do. I feel like whoever this little uh, jigaboo energy I'm feeling, I don't know. They were spiritually sick is what I'm getting. But they could have been really sick. We did see that STD card, right, come out earlier. And so, somebody was trying to pass you off something. Ooh, they're getting some bad karma. See, look. Right. This person made a move towards you to bring you this sickness. You dodged the bullet, and now they're all receiving their bad karma for this dumb shit. See? Some of you people, they really could have connections to your family. Look, 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 look. Dirty offer, see? Scarcity tactics. They really thought you was desperate. Wow. But somebody was really pressing. You ignored somebody. I feel like somebody even tried to slide up. You know online conversations and you was like mm -mm. look at this shit look how it's sticking out now the person who they sent towards you that you rejected is obsessed with you mm -mm -mm. lord help me <laughs> and what else we need to know Look. Oh, that's for them. They were never interested in you. So if you cross watching, let me just say that they was never interested in you. Ever. No matter how much you tried to make shit look like Shinola, how much energy you put into it. There's no amount of money you could have offered this person, right? Is what I'm getting. Because look, marrying for money. There's no, nothing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Look, now, look, look. That bad karma moving in. Ooh. Wow. 
That's why you get to know yourself. And that way, when somebody try to wear your energy and mirror it back to you, you be like, oh, look, love you. Told you it was at least three people. That's why I was getting that triangulation energy. Whew. Whatever moves y'all been making, the people on the right side of karma, good job. Good job. They still trying to plot and scheme. They still ain't learned. That's why they're about to. This is why it's so important. It's like, my God, how simple do you have to be? These people were really doing moon magic, right? There's the Ace of Swords sticking out right there. Doing moon magic. Trying to manifest your demise. They want to lay you. Like, really? Wishing? And hoping and praying. Because they want your energy. Because you got all the aces. So you, what you will live, you are a natural genie. You, you want some uh, Dr. King shit. I dream a world. This is why karma going to hit that ass. That's why it's unavoidable. They're going to die. I'm, I'm not even playing. That's why that sickness is so prevalent. And it's going to go round and round to gather all these motherfuckers up that was involved. Kids too. Sorry. Not sorry. You brought them into this toxic situation because you was doing work on other people's children. Trying to hurt their children. Trying to hurt their womb. Oh, you about to be impotent, infertile, and deceased. The fuck out of here. What's wrong with y'all? You were fantasizing that you was going to be able to manifest somebody's demise in such a way. You need therapy. I was tracking somebody yesterday, right, uh, with my little pendulum. When I say their ass is running, I mean their asses is running. That shit is funny. That shit is funny. Crisscrossing lines. Like, I was really tracking somebody on the road in Mexico in real time. I was like, now that's interesting. I just saw the will and judgment. This ain't nothing to fuck around with. Say your prayers, hug your babies, call your mamas, whoever you got to. Time to say goodbye. You can feel it too. And that's why they scared. Nine of swords. Talk all you want. It's God's plan. You think your will supersedes the higher five of swords? Are you tripping? All things bow down. Look, chariot. I'm on your ass, Mr. Postman. You can't stop this. Strength. See? You, you pick wrong. That's what it is. Thank God y'all made the right decisions. Because this could be directed at Somebody who made a knee-jerk reaction. Thank God you didn't. See, look. Eight, seven, six, five, four. <laughs> I don't mean to, like, it's so funny to me, though. Yep. Look. Look at them. They, they were celebrating. They really was. They was really like, oh, we did it. We got it. Yeah, okay. They said, my will? You was like, nah, my will. For earthly things. I'm not even joking. For earthly things. Somebody going to have a testimony. If... You're going to see this. You're going to see every one of your haters have a very, very public demise. 
Somebody could end up in a loony bin. And it's funny because I see one ring leader who's standing by thinking they not going to get stung. They got, yeah, spirit soul, everything. Save your apologies. You should turn them into prayers. Yeah, look, 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 See? It was a karmic test. And y'all failed for it. This is a crazy magical blue bag. I'm a bad man. Mm. It's always about something inconsequential. Five of Cups. Why they in regret? Look, look what came right back out. Five of Wands, Devil. That's for all y'all people in the back who think because, you know, I can pull through and, and see shit and discern messages and I don't have to wait for them to pop out. That's just the type of connection I have with my creator and my guides. I told y'all before, the cards are for you. Like I said, save your apologies. Turn them into prayers. It's over. Mm -mm -mm. Everybody you partner with, too. The obsession really got the better of them. This compulsiveness to be better. Why? Why do they want to be better? Because you scare them. Period, point blank. You scare the shit out of these people. So people do hate what they fear. Okay, I get that. But... They really needed the heal. I'm so afraid. I'm gonna do magical rituals on you. I'm so afraid of you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to curse you. Get the fuck out of here. You're ridiculous. It's over. It's over. Like I mean that. You're gonna get a long you're gonna get a great chance to heal. Told you spirit see all baby. They funny, they playing, I see it coming. <laughs> Spirit sees all. Free will is a heck of a thing, ain't it? A stubborn is, a stubborn does. trying to control somebody free will you were mm, rabbit they're stronger than look 
somebody really spent a pretty penny on, on spell work. I'm just telling you now, they did collectively. They all had like a pot, if you will. The team up against one. Just one. But I'm going to say this. You spent every lifetime, every single lifetime you have opted to come back. Your powers come back stronger and stronger and stronger. They're not taken away. You get more and more. The more you demonstrate that you don't abuse them. That you know how to use them. That you don't shun them. You don't use it to manipulate people's free will. You co-create. You bring balance and order. You see those pillars back there? That's not selfish. You don't see a capital. You don't see a, a roof structure. Why? Because there's only one head. It comes down from the top. What he wants, what they want, is what you want. You are a conduit. I'm sorry. It's great. Can't. Now they playing that Wayne song. Uh, you can't break down be broken lifetime after lifetime you've paid ransom after ransom made sacrifice after sacrifice it's not all in vain it's a choice you are a conduit this is for my middle world people You are the child of justice. And for the little bitch out there who like to play with glamour, I feel bad for the next time you look in the mirror. I really do. I, I really, really do. It's like a bad LSD trip. Your shit just gonna start melting in the mirror. Ace of Swords. Trying to distort people's self-image with your jealous ass. I'm sure you are beautiful, but you wouldn't know about the shit you do by the actions you take. Your soul is ugly. Your spirit is filthy. Trying to play with people's intuition. Trying to put a cap on it. Doing crown work, I see, huh? Okay. Everything you set out coming home. Just remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see him too. All right, let's see what other messages. I'm sorry. I'm not, but they really got me on my soapbox. <laughs> exactly. I see him too. I feel your energy. Feel your energy. Let's see. Let's put those there. Wait, wait. Nope, that's right side up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially, there's a, uh, a, yeah, thank you for the confirmation. Um, there is a masculine energy who was so heavily invested at breaking your heart and causing you pain. I mean that. Like, they was determined to leave a scar. You, you are the most, you are the most heavily invested. Heavily invested. You, in particular, King of Wands, you like your money, honey. 
Like, you got problems. Greed. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. They done capped you. This is the one who was really, really trying. They wanted to break your connection with Source. They wanted access to it. The wellspring of knowledge. That's the ringleader. Did he really? Yeah. This is the one who went looking for everybody else involved here. The King of Wands. Went looking. See? Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Chariot, Sun. Went looking. Went around the world. Nah, yeah, yeah. With a little sob story. Got many, many people to join up, partner. Never once telling them the whole truth, though. Got all these people attacking this one person. Yes, I say one person, nine of pentacles. Heavily invested. Look, 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 look. Got all these people bound up. And I know they're runes, but this person, by their type of influence and their mental manipulation that works on the, the spiritually weak, ruined all these people's lives. Feeding these people whatever bullshit that they needed to feed them so they could benefit, reap the rewards. I saw the tower sticking out. Wait. Look, 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 look. Told you. They could have been married. The real people, male and female in particular. He might have impregnated this girl. I've been sick the whole time. Oof. Look. Don't get it twisted. They they was really in it, ten toes down. Went looking though. I want you to know that. Went looking. I feel like this is a hooju woman. I do. It's just the way the straight jacket and the binds are, and yeah. Went looking. What did they give her to hold on to? Ace of Pentacles. I feel like it was a genuine sample of some energy. They had siphons. Uh-huh. She was like, I want more. I want more. That shit. It's sick. I keep seeing the five of pentacles. And I mean like the the activity. Sick. Yeah, see look. High priestess, will of fortune. Yeah. They more than a fortune teller. It's a hooju woman. This person is known for the uh like they're uh, 
uh, they get back. Like they spell word, it hit. See? Three of swords. Like, like it was known for their work. These two people, lovers, made a choice to partner together to X you out. But the divine was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look, quiet as it's kept. Working on your uh, your Venus. Keep They kept trying shit until they didn't really know your chart is what I'm getting. So they were they were trying everything they could. Hoping something would show, something would arrive, like, and they knew they would have it, but mm-mm, mm-mm. It was locked away. It's too big. This is what made them sick, too. You know, it's funny, right? Because whoever I'm talking to, when I talk about the twins, I'm not, this is a spiritual thing more than anything, but you see this? The sun and the moon. Now, you and this person look, look, look in a different, yeah, you know I mean, y'all could have really been the sun and the moon to each other, like real, um, I'm just going to say star cross, but y'all really could have been together. That being said, maybe not this time. But you yourself, this is, it's like one being. It's that yin and yang effect. Don't make me go into it. You've been here before. Look, 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 look. Yeah, I feel like you and this person were genuinely so in a previous incarnation. This King of Wands, whoever was uh, so determined, so focused, hell bit, you know, grouping all these people. I feel like by the time they realized who you were, it was too late. They was trapped. Bound it. Bound, excuse me, bind it, bound. This person realized, I bet, trying to bring it in to your abundance, to your livelihood, to your energy. They were attacking themselves. And even if this person was supposed to have a significant part in your life, they made so many fucked up decisions, it can't happen. Contracts voided. See how they got her encircled? That's that box I was seeing. Because on your own, because of all of this bullshit, you at the Ten of Pentacles by your dang self. But see the root woman? See how she got all the vegetables and see? See the eye on the basket? Basket even eye shape? Yeah. This person was doing some janky shit to you. And little old you... Being who you are, not only was able to stop it, overcome it, transmute it, and use it for your benefit. I said transmute it for a reason. I told you, you ancient. Like, you real fucking ancient. It's so funny because it's like as much as they thought they knew, there was so much that was hidden from this, this masculine. See? Until a little birdie came and told him some shit, and then his ass was stuck. See, the end of, like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I, I hurt who? I tried to destroy who? And you saw how the Ten of Cups, right? It had the two sun signs between the rainbows, right? And then now, look, you see the same sun sign, right? Because they crossed their feminine. 
that what we call the sun sign in terms of symbolism and astronomy and astrology, it, that is a very ancient symbol for the divine feminine. The circle with the dot is a swollen belly with the belly button. Do your research. I really fucked themselves up. Like really fucked themselves up. They was really heavily invested. They gave them a, a sample. I don't know if it was a physical. I, I draw the exact same card. No, they shared a piece of the feminine's energy. Because here you see it's moon shape. But there's a seal. The divine has put their seal on this feminine when they were a child. Because they knew that thirsty motherfuckers was going to come along and try to drain them. Look, all because they want to be, you know, devil worshippers and, and do demonic shit behind the scene, under the moonlight. Keep telling people, I don't go to funerals. You ain't even got to tell me. I know what I know. And I ain't missed one yet. I just call it as I see it. Mm-hmm. This person became obsessed when they got that pinnacle. Look, 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 look. They wanted more and more. Like, obsessed. I saw the devil. It's okay. That's why, but all part of your spiritual journey, though. Look, look, look. See the box? See? The seed within you, right? Mm, how do I explain that? It may not look like much on the outside, but by God, it will. How Bernie Mac say, if I pull my shit out, this whole room type shit. But it's the brilliance. It's the illumination. It's like uh, some of the, the biblical uh, scenes where it's like when a divine show they back. And it turned them into like a, a, a radioactive. They had to be isolated. It's like that. Never judge by the appearance. You draw a lot of attention. Like your energy is that intense. It's a love or hate. See, look, as I say, your energy is that intense, Emperor. It really affronts people initially. Like, they drawn to it like shit the flies, or flies the shit, rather. But then it's like, it's it's scary to them. It's intense. Like, it's really intense. That ain't your fault, though. And on top of it, you find. Just saw the queen of one. Fine, fine. So you get you would draw a lot of attention. People are naturally curious about you. Look, they get obsessed. It go from love to hate real quick, don't it? They fall subject is what that feels like. Peasants. <laughs> They're funny with that. Since you were a young buck. Some of y'all didn't just get fine. Y'all been fine. There's a lot of opportunity coming in, y'all. Right. So it's so funny. This king of wands sent the queen of wands, technically, right? Because when he shared your energy with that bitch, 
Oh. And let me tell you, it, it took some years off uh, off of their appearance. They felt revitalized. They felt rejuvenated. Because I feel like this person truly is in a lot of... I mean, they really do in age. and It's the queen of pentacles. I feel like they actually are, like have Capricorn, really highly placed. Somebody talks very pretentiously like Oprah. I don't know who the fuck that is, but... What? Right. And kept sending more and more people your way. That's the truth. Damn, they regret that. Every person they sent your way became obsessed, fell in love, fanned out. Their strategies never pan out the way they think they will. This King of Wands, whoever they are to you, do not be surprised if somebody come to you and try to make amends real quick because they really get in they they uh they karma. This shit hurt. Like, it genuinely hurts. Like they're sick. And there's something that's sudden and onset. Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Like it's it came on real fast. Like, it's overwhelming. Like, a deluge. Because remember, they were trying to make you sick, right? They were trying to rob you of your health, your beauty, your vitality. All of these things. Trying to siphon and steal your energy so they can manifest. But you protected. Told you that seal ain't nothing to play with. They wanted your shine. Mm -mm. Whatever this is, it's it's sudden. Yeah. You're going to see this person. You're going to be like, what the fuck? You might even, for my mediums out there, you might even see um, or hear, depending on how your your talents work, You may. I feel like you're going to see their ancestors gathering around them. Wait impatiently for this person to transition. Yeah, I feel like this is a, a newfound um, immersion talent for some of you. It's gotten stronger, but you're really going to see they relatives gathering around, patiently waiting for that boat to come on by and pick their asses up. I feel like you're going to see it, but you ain't going to say it. You just... You know. I feel like their ancestors going to tell you exactly when this person going to transition. They going to give you the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For those of you who got that gift, they, I, man, they going to tell you um, this time, a month's time, four weeks, an hour, they going to give you the specifics. And it's coming from the divine. I just... Uh, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, sorry, Ace of Wands. Because, again, it'll be positive, positive proof about the um the revving up of these talents, clear audience and shit like that. Not to mention, you already look. I feel like you got a little bit of say on how long they they hang around. It, um, they they might be like, well, what you want to do, daughter? <laughs> yeah. Do they stay or do they go? Not everybody else might not know the time, look, the time, the season, and none of that shit, but okay. We dealing with supreme beings down this bitch. As I say that, star, will of fortune. Eight of wands. Say it. What you want? That's where we at right now. These people have fucked with this divine feminine to this degree where they just like, and you can have whatever you like. I feel like divine feminine is going to let shit play out in divine timing. She's like, I don't need none of that. But just know on some real shit, whoever this couple is, this woman has y'all lives. Right? She could just ponder. 
What she want to do? Really sitting in a position to dictate which way and how things go right now for you. I feel like she's whispering. Make it quick. Look, devil. Four swords. Okay? So again, this sudden onset of illness or whatever the fuck this is. That's incurable shit. They don't know where it came from, how it got there. They're like, well, did you travel? See, look all the nights back and forth. Who did you have sex with? <laughs> yeah. It's despicable. This is, somebody is given a position of a fate. They're scared to death. Look at that. Look at the dinosaurs just slid back out. Booyaka, booyaka. You and your partner. Yep. Yep. Keep calling. My, my supreme beings, I want you to keep calling back your power. Make that a new mantra for yourself. Yeah, see? Emperor, call back your power. This Taurus in particular, the one who got the fucking Masonic ties, that's going to be the one. I don't know if it's the same one as the King of Wands, but it's feeling like it could be because this one got some issues. Just because your janky ass bent the knee to an organization doesn't mean other people need to. Your power is artificial. And if you actually had some, you didn't believe in it. And that's why you in this predicament. I feel like they really going, um, especially if you related to this, uh, one of these supreme beings. Ooh. They're going to make a hell of an example. I mean, they're going to hold you tight by the head for all the fucking crown chakra manipulation your dumb ass was doing. Look, look, it's going to be public. It's going to be messy. And it's going to be fair. If you die at home, it'll be a blessing unto you. But look, there go the boat for the river sticks. Right back. Sorry guys, hold on. Hmm. I know, it's a, it's a little rough. 
But I guess warnings are supposed to be delivered that way? I don't know. Very interesting. Mm, mm, mm. Some of you have mastered healing, right? And so, you know, life and death are part of the very same circle. And so maybe this is where the increase in the mediumship comes in, is what I'm feeling for somebody. But yeah, somebody relative. Ugh, hold on. Okay. Can you write your question in now, please. Wow. Oh, congratulations, Allie. You said you was going to get your marriage license. Oh, that's right. Isn't that funny? How you was holding out on that whole situation, getting that cleared up, and now look where you at. I think that's beautiful. That's why I be telling people, go and get your paperwork settled. Get it right, because you be missing out on blessings. The divine can't bless you, you know what I mean, the way you should be, unless you're getting your shit right. Okay, I had a feeling that was coming. Hold on. They funny. They put y'all initials together and started going, Caw, caw! <laughs> I feel like um, crows have been talking to you, Ali, and if you're not paying attention, pay attention to the shit that's on your mind. And where, when you're hearing crows. I know, but I did it the other way. K-A. Because that's what they that's what I was hearing. That gave me a different energy. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on, love. Let's see. What sort of message is this for Allison? Karmic message, a message of forgiveness. Okay? Where is it coming from? Wow, that's double confirmation, Ali. Look at that shit. Forgiveness, loss, freedom, karma. Look, karmic relationship. I think I told you that before about that guy, that he was a, a karmic. Ooh, and my snake just fell. So that makes me feel like in order to get this out of the same reoccurring pattern, a lot of forgiveness is needed. How you doing? Y'all got a lot of history. A lot of history. Whether in this lifetime or any other. There's a lot of history here. I feel like both parties have to accept that there will be a type of loss of freedom, but you gain more. And you're almost going to have to pre-forgive the other person in order to embark on a new chapter. It's 
strength, ten of cups. Yeah. But you do you hear me? Like, this is huge. For these same words to come out over and over again, y'all going to have to communicate a lot better than what you do, and it can't always... I'm just going to put y'all out there like that. Fucking ain't the way. I know it gets the message through and a lot of healing, but y'all going to have to find new ways of communicating with each other. Take time to think before you speak to one another, especially that scorpion stinger and that Gemini piece. Y'all going to have to let love lead y'all every way. And I mean that every way in order to harmonize for a beautiful relationship that's going to be successful. I feel like there's obstacles that may come your way, but I feel like if y'all go into it, knowing that this is something brand new and no matter what the history is, it, uh, it goes away and you start fresh with the page of wands here and anything that was missing before. In terms of the five of pentacles in this soulmate union, you got to put it to bed. Y'all going to have to find brand new ways of loving, nurturing yourselves, but also the connection on what it is that y'all are doing together. I'm seeing focus on home, family, success, and abundance. Hold on to those things, but also allow for space, freedom. So things can can process and matriculate in a different way. Can't be so laser focused on one particular outcome because there's lots of blessings. What is? Wow, y'all. Mm. Y'all gonna have to give each other the freedom to pursue individual endeavors. And, and when I say passions, I mean ambitions. Cause y'all both overly ambitious, but y'all are, y'all are a match. It's going to take work y'all. And I mean, a lot of the work is going to be to maintain the independence that drew you drew each other to one another. Take time for yourself, take space for yourself. Remember to do things that make you happy. Leave room for the mysterious. Leave that old shit behind. The worst of the worst in your relationship has already happened from what I'm getting. Yeah. Remember, worrying don't change anything. Follow through on whatever it is that y'all are saying, like, keep your promises, keep your words to one another, but choose your words very carefully. This, you are on the beautiful side of this karmic cycle, but remember, this relationship is karmic. Karmic doesn't mean negative, it means lessons, blessings and lessons. Because, I mean, we all, listen, I'm a Scorp, since you're listening, we all, everybody know y'all about y'all paper. And y'all are on the right path. I mean, it's going to take focus. And I feel like, mm, do I want to say that? Again, the, the freedom. You can't be controlling with one another because if you hold on too tight, the things that you guys are setting your goals towards will not come to fruition. You, yeah. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Trust your own counsel. Y'all are a match. Just take some strategy. Keep y'all goals to yourself too. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a lot of um, balance with one another, like those karmic scales, a cup for each. And listen, keep people out y'all business. 
I'm not kidding. Keep people out y'all business. Keep them guessing about your relationship. Whether y'all, listen, <laughs> whether y'all marry or not ain't nobody's business. But I also see here that rushing to the altar is not a smart thing either. Make sure, right? Take a brief, take a long, deep breath. Because everybody got choices here. Not just in love, but in opportunity. Really understand why y'all are coming together. Nothing superficial. It's not, it can't just be passion. It can't just be emotion. It has to be grounded. Yeah, but there's a chance of renewal. It really is. But boy. Huge, huge, huge. Hold on. Let's look at something real quick. Why is the repeating message of this being a karmic relationship and it needs forgiveness? Take time before you act. Like, really, they want y'all to talk. talk y'all need to talk some things out. You really do. Lay it on the line. Right. Talk about y'all future, your direction. But it's like, in order for y'all to have success, you're really going to have to face the difficult conversations now. Yeah. You got to go through your strengths and your weaknesses, your fears, all of that shit. Sounds cliche, but it's real. And only this really can put to bed the bullshit of the past and uh, quell any sort of overthinking. The monkey mind that I know you, in particular, Ali, are going through. Because the Gemini mind is back and forth, back and forth. Double Gemini coming out. This has much more to do with you because of your own experiences of the past. In marriages and relationships, dealing with controlling people, I do believe it's a beautiful leap of faith that you're, you're standing out on. And I, it's wonderful, nice soulmate connection, but there's still a lot of healing that you yourself need to go through. Yeah, definitely. Because there's a propensity here to self-sabotage on the part of the feminine. And I want you, Mr. Scorpio, right? I don't know you like that, but I'm going to need you to be like real, real serious about your ability to be faithful. Unless that's a topic y'all already covered with one another. Because it's a beautiful opportunity here. Ace of Cups energy. And if this is something that's being reconstructed after things came to a, a tower, really know why you want to rebirth this. Why is it wish fulfillment? Because when I say y'all got choices, whew, not to mention too much bickering, too much arguing. I'm going I'm to put it this way. If y'all both fine, then y'all going to have choices. People going to be in y'all faces. That's the nature of being attractive. Juan's energy attracts. So that, that need for security in each other, in the relationship, very important. King of Swords, truth. Talk. Not saying y'all don't, but I'm, I'm getting a message. There's some other shit that needs to be discussed. Again, but don't let your emotions. This is a very logical conversation. Anything that don't feel right, face it with confidence on both parts. I feel like only that way 
y'all both get what you want. I see you, Scorpio. Like I that she is everything I want. You funny. It's going to be some beautiful tears, though. <laughs> Anything else for them? But there's a need, right, to be confident in the choice you make. It's too big of an, a decision. And the word, I'm looking at the word separation, right? Like maybe a moment, take a day. Cups are normally represented as months. Take a month if you need to. Because I'm getting a feeling that your your own guys are chatting with you. And I don't know if you feel a little disconnected from them, but they want you really have to follow the inner guidance. Yeah, don't don't buy into illusion. Right. It's like this is going to work if you want it to work. But if you allow all the things that you're thinking and feeling and not expressing, it will lead to disappointment and unfulfilled hopes. Right, because there's this energy of pessimism and doubt, like, should I stay, should I go, is this the right path? Ace of Swords. Y'all would do good with a little bit of couples counseling, can I just say that? I think that would be smart. For your own prosperity, for your own you know, longevity of the relationship because I'm getting baggage with the eight of cups here. I'll like, it's, it's emotional baggage. Life be life and everybody carry a little bit, but you got to unburden that. Ace of swords again. See? Right. The time is right to take action on your ideas. Listen to that inner voice. Only limited by what you believe. Yeah, there is a mo there is a need for you to just kind of pause and reflect. It's not saying that you the relationship no no. You have to get you together. Like you need to give yourself more credit for your growth, for your strength. For the, the positive results of your choices and actions and investments in particular. Because it will help you recognize that you're making the right choice. See, look. Y'all need to have a conversation. Big time. But you need to be willing to listen.
I'm talking to the Scorpio. And I mean that. Like, listen. Because I feel like once she gets started, it's going to be like... <laughs> it's giving me Pandora's box. But not in the negative, because they're still hoping that bitch. Yeah. I like that advice, Maggie. Meditation will be good, too. Actually, I'm seeing some sort of, like, outdoor recreation, like sport. Get out the house, in particular. Not to mention, I feel like you need to clear the energy in your house. Yeah, I don't... It's, it's heavy. It's heavy. And I'm going to tell you where it's coming from. The cancer. Yep. You got to clear the energy from the cancer's presence. Because it is heavy. Hmm. I wouldn't be um, surprised if... Um, what's his name? I don't know his name. Um... What I just saw with the five of wands and the four of wands, I feel like your relationship by the cancer in particular, just negative energy projections. Oh, you you can't be, I don't care if they with somebody or not. She can't be happy. Da, 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 da. I, I do feel like there's a level of that. So clear the energy. Yeah. If you do that, I don't light an incense or something. You make candles. Look, it'll blow it down. Yeah. Things look like, oh, it's so funny. Yeah, see? Ten of Wands. Oppressive. Yeah. You know, I ask just again, just for pure clarity, are you on the right path with Corey? And the four of swords comes out. Take time out and answer, and the answer will come to you. You need to rest. Like, seriously, just kind of take a moment. I'm, I, no disrespect, but by yourself. Gemini, see? By yourself. And really contemplate. Because you've accomplished a lot. You have. Like you truly have. And you're quite happy, actually, on your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you relationships are cool, but you you equally good. <laughs> he 
it's almost funny. I mean, not not to make light of this, but it's almost like there's part of you that is so tied up. At the same time, it's like Because you can have everything and still find a reason to kind of be like, oh, I'm done with this. I feel like that part of you truly scares yourself. This is why I'm saying you really have to figure out maintaining your independence, married or not, relationship or not, because you spend a lot of time creating. You genuinely do. And you need every bit of that. That free flow, that that it's a level of, I get the freedom. And maybe that's part of the past life baggage that's associated with this. Uh, there's a level of trepidation because maybe in that incarnation, you had to, either one of you, roles get reversed and switched around all the time. One of you had to give up your dreams, your goals, your ambitions in order to be there. That's not what this is. It could be very profitable, very beneficial. I got 888 out here. But I, I really do mean you're, you're gonna have to be real firm when it comes to you getting things your way, it's it's just freedom. Like that autonomy. Yeah, a lot of need for balance. And I'm gonna be real, I feel like it's really um, Corey because Scorpios are notoriously controlling. And when they in love, they wanna be up under you 24 seven, like where you going, what you doing, what you wearing, da 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 da. Like they're very fucking clingy, like Velcro. And that could be a little bit of a, a, a issue for the freedom loving. Like, y'all gonna have to lay it all out. Like, really. This sound like some prenuptial shit. Yeah. Any other messages for them? Uh, I just saw the four of cups and the ten of swords. They want you to literally reject any notion of bullshit. Like I said, y'all done been through the worst already. Don't fight. Talk. Have a very truthful, precise, and articulate conversation. Be cautious to each other's feelings. Right. See? I feel like if you actually are able to hash this out in a conversation, whatever this is, relationship, the marriage will be beautiful. And I guess that's coming through because it's like maybe you're not going to get an opportunity to really sit with yourself. And so you got to chest it out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. 
platonic relationship or not, you guys are, you are soulmates. And y'all can create whatever you want with each other if you really are able to put your pride and your egos aside and really hash it out. Because you both have a lot of, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the words divine wisdom because of higher fonts here. And if you pull from that place of love, it'll be beautiful. But yeah, whatever energy, that five of pentacles, uh, that is coming from like old bash. It's not this incarnation. Like, I even feel like y'all was... Um, Money was wrong last time. And so there's this energy of. It's going to balance out. It's like breadcrumb because this is old energy. This is the potential. Ten of cups. I mean, sorry, ten of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Ten of pentacles. That's funny. You also have to have the energy and confidence that he, and when I say support emotionally, monetarily, spiritually, trust that you're making the right decision, that he is strong enough to lead you. That this person really is the right balance. They make up for whatever you lack and vice versa. Mm. Mm. Okay. It's a lot of love there. It is. Four of Wands. See? There you go. Oh, have faith. <laughs> Y'all gonna have some good ass. Shut up. I saw this, okay? I did. I did. Knight of Wands, Devil. Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. Somebody gotta be having some fun. Shit. Have faith. Big time. Have faith. All right. Let me get out of it. Wow. Hmm. Numbers bowl. I think it's also interesting, y'all. I guess when people are new and the, the whole chat and live chat thing, patience is needed. If I'm doing something, have a little patience. And if you don't have patience, you should not be watching tarot because everything happens in the buying time. Message the pass on. Is your freedom? Oh. How does the collective free themselves? Education, learn. Huh. So I need to read more. Or find themselves um, like-minded individuals to learn and share with. Yeah, three of cups, six of pentacles. It's difficult.
somebody taps their fingers when they're frustrated or you need to pace. Get up and pace. It's better for you than doing that. Unless you play piano, then I understand. Somebody is about to, um, it's like they're gathering the energy they need. I also feel like some of you need to be confident in what it is that you know, what you've learned, and what you've gone through. Because um, I feel like you're the one delivering messages that will educate people. I'm almost hearing... Um, Hey, welcome to the Diary of a Girl Boss. Um, something like that. Uh, oh. As much as something should be structured, it may not need to be overly structured. Even, that's so funny. Even like practical advice, guidance, something like that. Like this is someone who's starting a blog or something like that. Like you have um, good insight, good knowledge, things. It's not shortcuts, but it's ways of simplifying everyday life. A take charge, delegation, you know, innovation, something like that. How you can have it all how to balance all of those things. It's like time management skills, something like that. The art of time management, something like that. Wow. Right, like, um, look, and then look who shows up. The Empress, right? Double Libra energy. Because it's like there's never any rest. Like when you run an empire, since I was like a day in the life of a girl boss. It's something like that. Because see, I, I'm a believer that when you reach this level, you had to go through that because you had to learn to, uh, you know, tap into your inner masculine. Yeah, like really like skills. Time management, right. To save you money. Yeah, somebody could be starting a business in that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's funny. Or a blog or something. That's neat. Right, it could even be like health and beauty tips. It's something like that. Something somebody's been working on. And as I say that, higher font, right. I also feel like someone could be going to school to learn maybe some um, health and beauty uh, things, certifications, whatever. Yeah, like cosmetology, like somebody is really into makeup, hair, makeup, health, beauty, wellness, all of that. And I feel like there's a mint at the end of that tunnel if you follow it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For some of you, you're actually going to meet um, your counterpart when you do this. Life partner, whatever you want to call it, four of wands, see? Tower. And for those of you who will be doing this, like you, your homemaker type shit, Queen of Wands, I'm excuse me, Queen of Pentacles. 
like your home-based business. I also see something else. Um, if something really, really, really unfortunate happens, like to your home, like if there's a fire or some weird shit, they want you to take it as a message of freedom. But I'm going to tell you right now, you need to get your, uh, make sure your insurance, whether renters, homeowners, fire, flood, make sure your insurance is caught up. Because you see all this, um, all these wands, right? All this fiery energy. And if your spirit guides have been nagging you and nagging you and nagging you to communicate with those companies to take to get that taken care of, you need to. Because as, as crazy as it sounds, and look, there's the eight of wands. I was seeing them right back there. Yeah, like your, your spirit team has been trying to show you something is about to go down. And if it's paid up, you're going to get the, the monies required and needed not only to be abundant, but to be free. Like somebody wants to travel and whatever situation that you're in now, you're bogged down by items. I don't, it could be a child, but I don't think it is. Right. Things might seem a little, a little off right now. But have faith. Things about to right themselves, even if it comes through some strange occurrence. And so I'm gonna tell you right now, if you've been having problems sleeping, it's because this will probably occur in the middle of the night. And so you getting into this weird habit of getting up and um, you know checking, just walking, whatever it is keep doing that spirit is trying to show you something but you about to move you about to be out because wherever you are it's it's a lot of conflict a lot of aggravation a lot of weird shit not to mention under the cover of darkness there's someone's like sending baneful magic your way that's why you gotta go seven i mean a chariot yeah, but spirit got a whole plan up. It's a warning for you, 7-7, seven, seven, but it's like 7. It's going to benefit you in the end. So please get caught up on all your uh, insurances. Like, really, it's a strong, a strong message, all right? Look into it. Make sure you're paid up because this property is your investment. And when it goes up in smoke, I'm, I feel like I'm talking to a homeowner, honestly. Um... You don't want to be up Shit's Creek without a paddle. With all this freedom and no money. And no, and there's really nothing you can do to stop this. This could even happen over the retrograde. But it's really going to give you so much... Um, You're not going to have any burdens left. Like, you're you're, you're only going to be responsible for you. And you're going to be like, wow, I could just go anywhere and, and uh, start over. But when this happens, right, when this, I feel like when it's one that your, your strength is being tested, okay? Um, you're really just going to be happy about it. Because you're going to be able to be, move around, set new goals, do new things, travel freely. Oh, I was going to say, I feel like this could happen to our Mercury retrograde. Somebody is sick. I'm just telling you now. Like, they're, they're ill, and they don't want to tell you. I think that's dangerous, especially if you're intimate with someone. Secrets, you see? Soon. You're going to learn some secrets about somebody real soon about children. Mm. Somebody could also find out that their children want to live with their other parent. They're happier there. Stay calm. So, you can have karmic relationships with even your children. 
I feel like things look sweet on the surface, but the duality card is saying expect the unexpected. Yeah. Whatever this information is, is between you and source. Right. This is an act of love, by the way. Stay calm. But also when it comes to these secrets, remember, none of us are above reproach. Right. Tell me about these secrets that someone will be learning about soon about these children and their happiness. Page of Cups. Let's stay calm, remember? Don't let your emotions get in the way. Look, Ace of Cups. See? I feel like in the end, everybody going to be happy. You, them. Not to mention, I also feel like somebody might be finding out that somebody's pregnant and they've been keeping it to themselves. This could be your own child. They've been waiting on the right time to tell you this. Yeah, I, I really do feel like somebody's child is pregnant because they was out there being reckless. A little too, little too eager, a little too cur uh, curious. I don't feel like they used protection when they was getting down and dirty. And they haven't wanted to tell you because um, they are a reproach. They're also afraid that you might tell them because they're your child that you want them to get rid of it. Because you're thinking about them enjoying their life instead of the blessing that this child, uh, that your grandchild will be to you. I feel like I'm talking to the mother. The child has a purpose. Okay? Remember that. Child has a purpose. Whether you know it or not. Listen. Allow them to talk. I do feel like you may find out who the baby daddy is and you may not be too thrilled about that because they could be uh, significantly older. Your child is almost at the end of this pregnancy too. I'm telling you now, they just ain't popped out yet, but you got your suspicions about what's going on. This person will do what's right by this child, I'm telling you now, they will be fair, they will be a good father, but you may end up pressing. I don't, I feel like your child is a minor. They could be like 17, 16, but whoever they dealing with is a grown ass man. Whoever it is, they, they well known. Whoever this child's father is, they know him. They really are. Like, or you know him already, but I feel like this person occupies the public eye. They might get some time. I'm not even joking. Like, whoever you, I'm talking to, you might press charges. I'm not even joking. Yeah, I feel like you're going to press charges. Whoever you are, no disrespect, but you work too much, and that's why you didn't know. You, you out of balance. I know you upset right now. Don't worry, it ain't going to change nothing. They want you to take a pause and look at things differently. Yeah. Don't focus on the fact that your child is having sex. I don't think that's the right focus. Right, energy of the unexpected, conflict, strife, and movement. This is how I'm, I'm oh, this has happened.
because somebody is chasing money and we all have responsibilities but is it that you don't have enough or is it that you have a lack mindset and so instead of being home spending time with your children and, and watching them and being there and talking to them that you in this lack mindset expecting them to just follow pace and that's not what's happening and they're saying there's always another way of doing something I'm talking to the mother of this child whose whole world is about to shatter I mean that whole world about to shatter this is a strong message to please focus on your children there's always another way focus on your children because you don't know what they doing and where they going when they out the house You should be asking this child's father because y'all not, I don't get that y'all together, but y'all should be asking for help. Instead of working all the time so you can look good. Vanity? Are you fucking serious right now? Don't you dare be mad at this child because you working all them extra hours so you can look good. When you wasn't home being a fucking mother and too much pride to talk to their father. Oh, okay. It's ridiculous. Your child in these streets looking for love in all the wrong places. It's a warning for everybody. Fix your time management skills. Especially if you have young ones at home. You need shared custody if it's like that. See? Shared custody. Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Right. They need to go back and forth between houses. Not just left in the fucking house to cavort and invite. Man, you tripping. Right. They should be sent back and forth. Finding balance in your life builds success. Right. Yeah. Right. Your clear communication expressions what's best for all. There you go. I said my piece. Speak your mind to solve your problem. That's half, that's half the issue right here. Somebody needs to take their child to the doctor. ASAP. ASAP. Because I don't even know if this child's been going to prenatal. I don't think they have. They need to give them um, vitamins. Let alone the fact that they out here having sex and they don't have a GYN. Now they need an OB and a GYN. Yeah, your child. Page of Cups. There we go again. They out here fucking and shit. I don't, a lot, a lot. No, no disrespect, but they are. Knight of Cups, devil, a lot. That's how they got pregnant. You, you somewhere asleep. I mean, you need to be up watching these fucking kids. Anyway, I, I've had enough of this energy. This shit funny, but somebody gonna learn real soon. How they children been spending their time. Heads up. A need to balance priorities when making choices. This is going to be a hell of a lesson for somebody. Incoming from Pluto, like I said before. All right, guys, I got to go. This is trifling. Love you. Bye.